Now we see that the object is being shown at steady state, a linear distribution of temperature. ANSYS has an automatic animation that it makes. As you can see, it's rather short and jerky, so we can mess with some of these settings here. We would like to see lots more frames being used across a longer time period. As you can imagine, this takes a little bit more processing power. As we can see, it stabilizes at about 0.5 and becomes pretty steady state. We can analyze by bringing this back and forth to see at particular time points and even look at the tabular data to look at particular time points. Here is our heat flux. You see that at steady state it has reached a, well, steady state. But at the beginning, at the beginning you can see the heat flux at the very edge of the material. Now what of our line, the one where we saw it across time? Right now, as you can see, it is being shown across space, which is not what we want. Space is always the default. So we go down to graph control, x-axis. We want to be labeled as time, not position. And we can see this very nice graph that shows the how the middle stabilizes to steady state. You could take this data and export it to say MATLAB or Excel or just a regular text file to compare it to any data that you wish or say other iterations of your process.